Okay, this is Michael Pepper for MMABay.co.uk, association of fightdentists.com, with UFC lightweight, Junior Brady. Thanks for joining us, Joe. So, last in action against Cole Miller, didn't go so well that night. Can you tell us a little bit about that fight? Um, I mean, not a whole lot to tell. It did pretty quickly. I just, uh, it was a nerve thing. I've never fought in front of that many people. It was no yeah. excuses. I just uh, shot him with my head down. Uh, there was a part of me that wanted to prove a point, too, so I was trying to take it down when I, you know, I just should have stood with him. So, uh, I mean, before I even got my bearings, was, the fight was over. Uh, I shot in, it was an ugly takedown. I had my head in the center, stood to the side. Yep. Got a his hand. Um, jumped, and my arm was trapped. And uh, everything during the fight, I was like a step behind. Yep. Uh, my nerves really got to a big time. That's where experience comes in. I mean, it's hard for you to see from time to time in a big crowd. And you know, the biggest event I fought in was in Pearl. You know, it's not a very good place. So it was experiencing what's going to hurt me. Um, you know, you, you know it's quite an emotional fight. Um, you know, do you think you learned a lot from that fight, from, from the outcome, and uh, from the experience? Uh, I didn't really learn anything from it. I just, uh, to, just to try not to get into this. I mean, I got to hype myself up a little more. I find myself into the like, QB focus, you know, start the fight. And so, I had to get punched a few times really get into the fight. I, I don't think I got hit yet. So, so you've been training a lot of extreme for tour yeah. uh, since, since you left the open fight. Yeah. How, how's the training been going down here? Oh, it's awesome. It's like a, it's like a dream scenario. It's not a better place to train, especially for the lightweight. And, uh, I'll say the same for every weight class. I don't know. I don't really train with the lightweight class as much. I just didn't mind. But, I mean, my weight class is the best lightweight in the world. Yeah. So, I mean, I know the points. If you can't get good here, you can't get good nowhere. Okay, so what are the coaches like down at Extreme Control? Have you been working with them? What have you been learning? I mean, in the, I mean there's times we coach with individuals. I work with Sean Tom as well as we had to uh, work pads where we work. And uh, when we stand up and eat, we usually lead to most of the classes and stuff. So whatever he tells me to do, so I'm Okay. Has the UFC been in touch about maybe a possible next opponent? Uh, no, they haven't told me who already did this. said a few more months or something. They just put some cards together. I think yeah. they already had most of the cards. Stacked up to like 101 or 102 or something like that. Yep. So uh, they're just looking to see who they want to play with and stuff. So they just, just train every day until they tell me. So yep. just, I'm ready to go wherever. Okay, We're, I mean, where are UK based MMA website? Have you ever thought about fighting over in the UK? I'd love to. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, I think uh, they uh, they respect a little, you know, a little craziness over there, a little more than they do over here. Yeah. Like, they, they, it's, they like to be entertained a lot more. Like, yeah, when Chris Lee fought our Biz Mill there, Chris Lee and Lawson, he was still like, you know, it's a good old show. So, if I go there for a show, it might be awesome. It'll be real fun. I mean, there's been a, there's been a little bit of talk uh, on the internet. Um, you know, Paul Kelly's come out, UK based Paul Kelly, who trains at the Wolves Lane. So, we've put him around Face Jackson, Michael Bisping. Um, no. Uh, he, seems, he seems to want to fight him. Uh, I mean, a lot of people want to try to get famous off of him. Yeah. He seems to be doing pretty well for himself. Got three wins inside the octagon. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, like this fight video? Yeah, just just dropped down to 155. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, only yeah. losses come to Marcus Davis. There's a lot of guys that want to fight me. Yes. You know, uh, it'll help get their name out there. A lot of the guys that you know want to fight me and stuff. It's uh, regardless that make maybe ten times in a row, they still won't have one third of the fan base I do. So. Right. I'm, uh, you know, I just feel like since I have least experience, they get a win over you, they'll get their name out there. But if you're born, you're born, and you don't have a personality, you know, still, no one's still going to watch you fight. So, so, how would you feel about uh, fighting one of the British guys in the, their own backyard, maybe November, the UFC was offered to you? Um, it doesn't matter, I'll fight anybody else there. It's UFC, you can't, you can only, you don't really get a, you can choose, you can fight, they just call me, like, fight this person, I'm like, no. So, yeah. so happy, happy for all channels. I mean, we're just going to lose, lose, but, you know, I shop it on show. My next fight, I'm not going to do any, uh, I'm not going to try to prove myself and go for takedowns or anything like that. I'm literally just going to go in there and just try to keep a stand the entire time. Yeah. Paul, Paul Kelly, stand-up fighter. Like a good fight, I think. Oh, he's a stand-up fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's that's a good ball. Ball. Uh, and the British guys are getting pretty good, too, especially over the full slayers. Yeah, that, that's, that's where Paul trains. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of good guys in there. Uh, there's some of the guys in the show. 
the season, I went to fight with them from there. Yeah, yeah, the So they're coming up pretty good. So whatever, it'd be cool to fight over there. Yeah. And bring uh, like an anti hat in front of here, and I'll go down the strip and go to some of ours and talk about the British guys and stuff. They're all cool shit. And, uh, and uh, it seems like a lot of fun people want to fight and stuff. So. Yeah, we'd love to have it. It'd be cool to go there, fire and party with the guys. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I'd love it. Yeah. Have you got any sponsors you'd like to mention before we finish? Uh, Tap Out, uh, my manager's Canal Sports, and uh, you know, the UFC Extreme Tour. Okay, so this has been Michael Pepper for MMABay.co.uk, so if you're going to find things.com with UFC Lightweight, Julie Browning.